All right, guys, what is going on? Uh, this is Baseball Cards 211 here, coming back at you with another video. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a little bit. I've been a little bit busy. Uh, school started back up, so that takes up some time. Also have um, uh, fall baseball, so I've got practices and games for that. That could take up some time. And I've been working uh, a little bit too, so... Sorry I've been a little busy. I'm going to try and be uploading more. Um, I do have some mail coming in this week, so stay tuned for that. And sorry if I sound a little funny, guys. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold or allergies. I'm not really sure what, but it's just kind of going around. It's that time of year. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get into the video. So what I'm going to be uh, showcasing today, as I promised in my vintage baseball card video, my last one with my top 15, now I'm going to be showcasing my top 15 modern baseball cards. All of these cards are going to be from 1980 to present, so 1980 to 2019. Um, and they're all uh, going to be all going to be pretty nice, hopefully, for you guys. But yeah, so top 15 modern cards, let's get into it. Okay, so at number uh, 15, we got us this. Uh, 2015 Panini National Treasures, uh, Rosny Castillo, uh, rookie card. It's, uh, it's still encased. It's got a nice red jersey swatch and a nice blue signature. So it's numbered out of 99. And as I said, it's his rookie. And it's a silhouette from Panini National Treasures. So that's 15. All right, so number 14, we got us 2018 uh, Panini Diamond Kings. Uh, this is a Jersey Kings uh, jersey swatch of Tony Gwynn. Great player for the Padres. Um, very nice, and you got a, I like that it has a little stripe in it, a little pinstripe, so that's really cool. It's number 14. Um, number 13, 2009 Topps Robinson Cano. Uh, autograph so I know it's a sticker auto but it's still nice uh, hopefully he'll get in the Hall of Fame we'll, we'll just have to wait and see but still a cool card okay let's see 13 okay number 12 we got us this 2018 uh, Sport Kings Jim Palmer on card auto it's very nice it's blue and it looked really sharp this is from Sage so that is number, let's see here, number 12. Okay, uh, number 11, we got us this uh, 2016 Panini Black Friday. Um, Trey Turner, I believe they call this a cracked ice. Um, this one's numbered, get that to focus, uh, 17 out of 25, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, 17 out of 25 so and it's got a nice uh, white jersey swatch yeah so this is from uh, 2016 Panini Black Friday this is back when he was in college and it's a cool um, Panini cracked ice so you can see it looks really cool so that is let's see that's number 11 so now going into our top 10 and number 10 we got this 2000 uh, 19 tops, so fresh this year. Um, Legacy of Baseball. This is a sticker, too. It's kind of hard to tell that is, but a very nice signature from Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. Uh, you, you can see on the back right here that it is numbered out of 50. 30 out of 50. I'm sure that's going to go in for you guys. There we go. Um, yeah, but so this is uh, number 10. All right, number nine. I really like this card a lot. This is from 2016 Tops. We got us from 2016 Tops, Tier One. This beautiful, beautiful Steve Carlton on card auto, uh, numbered 27 out of 75, right there. This is a very nice card. Uh, one of the nicest signatures I've seen. It's a very clean signature, and Steve Carlton was a great pitcher. That's number nine. 
Uh, number eight, we got us um, just a very iconic card, um, a 1980 Tops Ricky Henderson rookie card. Um, one of the nicest looking cards ever, in my opinion. It's very iconic. Everyone should own one of these. Um, this one's centered very nice. So that is my number eight card, 1980 Tops Ricky Henderson rookie. Um, okay, so number seven, we have us this 2007 um, Upper Deck Sweet Spot Classic Signature uh, Duke Snyder. This is very nice, too. Um, let me see the numbering on the back. Um, let me see. I know it was numbered up oh, right on the front here. This is numbered 165 out of 199. There. Um, yeah, but so Duke Snyder, he was a great uh, baseball player, uh, Hall of Famer, and this is very nice. And these autographs on these cards, since it's this kind of fake ball thing, they do kind of fade. As you can see, this one's faded a little, but a lot have been a lot worse. So really the main goal for this one, to keep it in better condition, uh, try and keep it out of the light, like natural light and fluorescent lights. And just kind of keep it stored away so it doesn't fade. So uh, that is number, that's number seven. Okay, so let me see. Yep, okay, so number six actually is this card right here. This um, from National Treasures, Panini National Treasures, Yogi Berra. And let us see, um, it's numbered, it's a booklet, it's numbered 87 out of 99 and this is from 2017 Panini National Treasures so that's all for the back and then back to the front again we'll just stand it right here where it's these are the backdrop for my videos because it looks really nice um, you can see it has two uh, jersey swatches and it, what I like about it a lot is both of them have the Yankee pinstripes so this is a very cool card, and that is my number six card, my my number six uh, modern baseball card, I should say. Okay, so heading into the top five, here we got us this at number five, 1997 Fleer David Ortiz rookie card, graded a mint nine by PSA. Um, hopefully he'll get in the Hall of Fame. Um, he was a great player for the Red Sox, obviously. And one of my favorite all-time players, I like to collect him a lot because I am a huge Red Sox fan. So uh, Big Poppy is always a, a fan favorite for sure. That's, uh, that is number five. Okay, uh, number four, we've got us a 2012 Topps Update, Bryce Harper rookie um, with the uh, gold foil sparkle, whatever they call that. Um, yeah, this card is really nice. And uh, this card was not expensive at all when I got it. Um, it was only like $20. I got it at a card shop. So I got a really good deal on it. And it's really nice. So um, maybe if I get a PSA membership, I'd send it off to get graded. Because um, well, this card is um, definitely worth a lot more than I paid for it. So it's very nice. Okay. Uh, number three, we got us. 2014 Topps Museum Collection, another David Ortiz card. Um, if you watch my mail day video on this, that was the card. It's number 15 out of 25. It's got a nice uh, blue on-card autograph, and then you got three. Um, you got you three uh, swatches, two bat relics right here, and then you got you a nice uh, jersey swatch, which is from the jersey, um, from the home jersey like he's wearing here. The uh, nice red and white, so it's cool. I uh, love two-piece patches. I think they look really cool. Let's so uh, that's number three. Okay, so number two, we got us another iconic card, kind of like the Henderson um, that I showed you earlier. The Ricky Henderson rookie here is a 1982 Topps traded Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, graded a PSA near mint to mint eight. This card. It looks very sharp for the grade. Um, I got it for a pretty good price on eBay. It was a hundred bucks, and um, 
well, that's what it was. And I was watching it and the seller gave me a private offer of like $79.99. So I jumped on that right away and it was like $3 shipping. So I got a really good deal on this card and it looks really nice for the grade. It really does. It almost looks like a nine, I think, but uh, just a really nice iconic card. 1982 Tops Traded, Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie Card. And um, so once again, that's number two. And then my number one uh, modern card, arguably maybe the best card in my collection, depending on what I would grade out. Um, 2011 Tops Update, Mike Trout Rookie. This card, um, obviously all you guys have heard of it. It's a very iconic card. This was in pretty nice condition. It's a very iconic card, guys. Um, very nice. Mike Trout, obviously a great player, uh, future Hall of Famer. And I think this card, honestly, will just keep uh, doing well. Um, maybe not as well as it is now because it is pretty high, but I think it still will always maintain pretty good value because this is just... Um, um, a great rookie card and it's from 2011 tops update too so it says it's from update it's not like you could just buy a set and get it in you'd have to actually get it from packs so yeah um, that's my number one card though 2011 tops update uh mike trout rookie card so one more look at that uh, there's the back again yep that's uh that's my number one uh modern baseball card all right guys so i hope you enjoyed um my top 15 modern baseball cards uh, sorry, it's been a little while since I've uploaded. I'm going to try and be uploading one to two times a week, hopefully, maybe more. We'll see. All depends how much mail I get and how many video ideas I have. But I am getting some mail this weekend, so stay tuned for those videos, some mail day videos. But that's all, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, once again, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.